In this video, I'm going to walk you through an example of how you can find and generate leads from recently funded startups using a combination of Phantom Buster and Sales Navigator. Okay, so for this example, I'm using a combination of four separate phantoms, three of which are single phantoms and one of which is a flow. So we're going to kick off with a Sales Navigator search export. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into Sales Navigator and I'm going to create a search. So this is the search I've created and I'm using a combination of Sales Navigator filters. So the first one that's really important is recent activities. So recent in recent activities, you've got two options. You've got senior leadership changes in the last three months and you've got funding events in the, la in the past 12 months. So we want to select funding events in the past 12 months, which will give us companies that have had some form of funding announcement within the last year. In this case, we're looking for startups. So we're going to keep the number of employees small. So I'm going to look at employees uh, ranging from one to 10 and 11 to 50. Um, just for the example, to keep this uh, keep this example with a short result uh, number, I'm going to go with the headquarters location in the UK. Obviously, you can use any location depending on where you're, you're based. Uh, the other filter that could be useful is looking at the number of followers. Generally, you know, if you've got a startup that's only started in the last year or so and they've a LinkedIn page in the last year, they're probably going to have a uh, low amount of followers. So it's another good key indicator to find um, and filter uh, for startups. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this search URL um, and if we go in to the Sales Navigator search export, which is step one, uh, we're going to go into the setup. So what I'm looking at here is I'm using a single Sales Navigator search URL for this. So I'm going to select Sales Navigator search URL and I'm going to paste the search URL in that box. Next, we're going to connect our uh, LinkedIn account. So we're either going to use the Phantom Buster Chrome extension and click connect to LinkedIn or you can manually extract the session cookie from your LinkedIn and paste it in there. Now, behavior wise, it, for this case, I'm only exporting uh, or I have been only exporting 40 just to pull in some results so we can use this as an example. Um, so you can set that to whatever you want. In terms of rate limits, if you've got a sales navigator account, you should be able to comfortably scrape about two and a half thousand results. Just remember if the number of results in the sales navigator search is more than two and a half thousand, you're going to have to break down your search into smaller searches. But if you're using a single search URL, one thing that I would look at doing if you're going to run this continuously is enable watcher mode. If you enable watcher mode, every time the phantom launches, it'll reprocess the entire search and it'll pick up new entries in that search result. So new companies that have just recently um, announced funding. So we're going to click save. Now we're going to look at the launch settings. So in this case, uh, I'm only launching it once just for this example, but we can select repeatedly. We can select after under phantom, or we can go a little bit more advanced and select the dates and the times um, in the advanced section. So um, set your launch settings to whatever you're comfortable with. If you're going to run this on a continuous basis and keep picking up newly funded companies, then I select repeatedly. Um, and for example, we could just set the frequency to one a day. If the results tend to be a little bit lower, we could just run it once a week. So we can click save. And then once you're ready to go, you can click launch and that will start to process that search URL. Okay, so now that we've ran that phantom, let's take a look at the results. You get a pretty high level um, view of each of the companies. Uh, remember, this is just a scrape of the actual search. So we want to do something with this so we can maybe filter things down a little bit more. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to take that result file and I'm going to use a Sales Navigator account scraper. So that what the Sales Navigator account scraper is going to do, it's going to actually visit that page and pull as much information about that company as possible, which will allow us to do some filtering and maybe segment the list a little bit more. So if we select a Sales Navigator account scraper and let's go into the setup. So first things first, we want to provide an input to that phantom. And in this case, what we're going to do is we're actually going to use the previous Sales Navigator search export and the results file with that 
to use um, as our scrape. So what we're going to do is click on my phantoms and then select in the drop down list the phantom which you want to scrape the results file. What will happen then below that you'll see in the spreadsheet settings the name of the column containing the account URLs will be present in the drop down. So you can just click on that drop down and select regular company URL or you'll also have the sales navigator URL that you can select there as well. So once we do that we can click on save. Now again we need to connect to Sales Navigator. So connect to Sales Navigator by using the Phantom Buster extension or manually extracting your session cookie and pasting it in the inbox. Make sure also as well, just for good practice that you have connected your user agent as well. This is also available um, using the insert user agent button uh, from the Phantom Buster Chrome extension. So we'll click save there. Now the behavior, <clears throat> again, in this example, I just have this set to 40. Uh, generally, with the Sales Navigator account, you can scrape up to 150 accounts per working day. Again, this is probably all relative based on the activity on your account. So just be wary of the rate limits and test it out. I'd recommend starting off low and then gradually building it up if you're not, you, you haven't uh, used automation before. So I have that selected at 40, but you can set it to whatever you want. So we click save. And in the launch settings, again, we have options where we can launch it repeatedly. We can launch it once after another phantom, or we can select specific dates and times using the advanced launch frequency. Um, one option that could be interesting here is using uh, launch after another phantom. If we're going to select launch after another phantom, we can, in the drop down, we can launch it after the uh, sales navigator search export that we've previously ran. So it's running in sync. So we can click save there. Okay, so we ran the account scraper. Um, so now we're going to have a little bit more uh, detailed information about that company and a little bit more data that we can use further on. So what we're going to do here is take a look at what we have and what we're interested in. So you have everything from the employee account, the location, um, the uh, a couple of interesting URLs, your LinkedIn company URL, sales navigator URL, the website URL, which can be useful. But in particular, what we're interested in here is a decision maker search URL. So what we've done is we've found startups using a sales navigator search. We've scraped that search. We've now found information about that company. Um, and we also have a link that allow us to scrape all the decision makers or the more senior people within that company. Um, if we want to prep the uh, prep that as a lead list um, for outreach. The other thing that I'm really interested in here is the year that it was founded, because that'll give us a better sense from the search uh, of how, uh, what stage they're at. So if we're looking for startups, obviously we're looking for companies that have been founded um, in the last couple of years. Um, some other interesting information that we could potentially use in our segmentation, we have their growth rates. So if we're looking for like high growth startups that have been recently funded, these are really good fields to uh, take a look at and filter uh, as we're going to filter in the next step. Um, and then we actually even have more granular data around each individual uh, department and what their headcount is in that department and what their um, what the growth rate in that department is. So that could be pretty useful if maybe you're using this with a recruitment use case where you're looking to find startups that are growing in a particular department. Um, but for the moment, we're just going to be interested in the year founded um, to take a look at what we're going to do next. So what I've done is, you know, there's a couple of ways of doing this. You can uh, export the full list. You can export uh, this list either to a Google Sheet, an Airtable. Um, you can pull the results out using Zapier or Make or your own custom script. But what I'm just going to do for this example is I've just created a query um, in Google Sheets so that I can do a little bit of segmentation uh, for this example. So what I've done here is <clears throat> I'm going to use the import data function to pull the results file into a Google Sheet. I'm also going to add in a uh, SQL query to segment the list by the uh, founded year. So what we've done is we know that there's been a funding event in the past 12 months. We know that they are of a certain size. Um, so we're happy with that uh, level of segmentation. But what we want to do here is we want to write a query that only shows us 
companies that have been founded in the last five years just as an example that could be two years in your case it could be uh, it could be longer it could be shorter whatever whatever that fits your use case so what i've done here is <clears throat> i've just created a query so it's equals query import data then paste the url and then i'm selecting all records all uh data from uh, the records where column 21 in this case column 21 is the founded year which is greater than 2019 so you'll see in this case there's only one result which is this company that's been founded in 2020. so now we have a segmented list if i was a little bit further on i was scraping more accounts i'd have more results there but now we've scraped our result we have taken uh the information about that company segment that company and now what we're interested to find is how can we find people within that company so the next step what we're going to do is we're going to use that decision makers url that we have and we referenced earlier on and we're now going to feed that into another sales navigator search export so select sales navigator search export from the phantom store we'll go into the setup here show you how it works so in this case, I'm going to use the spreadsheet URL of the Google Sheet in order for me to feed the phantom that decision makers link that I want to uh, scrape. So in the name of the column searches, I'm going to click on the drop down. I'm going to select the decision makers URL. What that's then going to do is it's going to scrape that search and pull out all of the high level employees or the most senior employees of that company so that we can then um, pull, those, uh, pull those in and find uh, a way to segment them maybe even further and then maybe push them into an outreach campaign. So in this case, again, it's exactly the same as the settings in the original Sales Navigator account scraper. You can set, the, um, the, you can set a max limit on how many results that you want to scrape per URL. You can set the number of results that you want to scrape per launch and you can also set the number of rows that you want to scrape per launch so this is very much dependent on your use case um in this case uh we could potentially remove duplicates profiles between searches that's probably not relevant because that would mean that there's somebody working for multiple companies that you've just scraped so we can click save on that and then again we can run this every time um, the previous phantom is finished by using uh, after another phantom. So in this case, it would be the sales navigator account scraper, or we can set it to repeatedly if we want to run it like once a day or once a week or periodically. Um, and then advanced if you want to select uh, right down to the minute, the, uh, the day, the dates, et cetera, et cetera. So what we're going to do is we're going to save that and we can click launch on that and then we'll show you um, how we can then further filter and segment uh, those leads. Okay, so now we have scraped the leads from the decision makers search URL that we've got from that company. In this case, we've got nine entries. So obviously we may have a specific target person in that company that we wanna to speak to. So in this case, uh, what we want to do is we have our result there um, and we have various pieces of information about them that we can filter by. So in this scenario, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a list in the LinkedIn leads storage. So if we go up and click LinkedIn leads on your Phantom Buster account and click the plus icon here to create a new list, and I'm going to say recently funded start startup founders as an example but you can add you can obviously name the list whatever you feel like naming it and in this case what i'm going to do is i'm going to look for the processed by phantom filter i'm going to select is and then i'm going to select the phantom where i scraped the decision makers url which is the recently funded startups decision makers if I click confirm there, that'll save the list and you'll see those nine entries. But in this case, let's say, for example, I want to uh, contact the founders of these companies. I'll go back into my filters. I'll add a condition. The condition I'm going to add is actually job. I'm going to say uh, contains 
and we'll type in founder and save those changes. Now, when we filter that list, we have two. So we have obviously two co-founders um, and we can now look to use um, these in some form of an outreach campaign, which I'll move on to next. Right, so we have our list filtered now, right? But what we wanna do is we wanna look at how can we actually start reaching out to these, uh, these leads. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select a LinkedIn outreach phantom, which I already have. If you have got it set up, select it from the phantom store. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna click on the meatballs menu and click setup. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna use as the input, which is what we need to first select is my lists. So we've created our list in our LinkedIn lead storage on our phantom buster account. And what we're going to do is in the drop down, we're going to click on the drop down and select the list that we want to reach out to. We click save. Then next step is we connect to LinkedIn or Sales Navigator using the Phantom Buster Chrome extension by clicking connect to LinkedIn. Uh, click on save. Now, the first thing we can do when we're reaching out is we can add a invitation message. Um, so we can type our invitation message in there and any of the data that we've scraped about those uh, founders in this case, or about the leads that we have in our lead list, uh, we can use any of that data as variables. So you can insert first name, last name. If we click on the plus icon, you'll see all of the other available variables that we can send um, in the message. So we'll click next there. Then after that, what will happen is the phantom will send a connection request to that profile once the profile has accept once that person or that lead has accepted that connection request you can then schedule up to three follow-up messages at any uh, time that you want to so we'll see here we want to click on schedule first follow-up message then you can select when to send that first follow message and you have all options between zero days and 15 days you can enter the message uh, in the your message dialog box again you can use any variables that are related to that record first name last name or any of the variables that are connected to that lead um, that lead record uh, if we want to send a second follow-up message, select schedule a second follow-up messages or uh, select a second follow-up message. Enter your message, you can use the variables. In any of the messages, you can also add a document or an image. And if we wanna select a third follow-up message, just click on schedule a third follow-up message. Um, and you can run uh, those at whatever intervals you like and click save. Now, the behavior settings we're going to look at the number of invitations uh, to send per day so one thing i recommend you do if you click on uh, in the blue box here you'll see a link to learn more and what this will do is this will give you a guide on sort of best practices for um uh, rate limits if your account isn't well warmed up i would stick to a lower amount so 20 is what I consider the kind of like upper limit of sending connection requests. Um, so set that to something that's appropriate for your account. Uh, then select when to send the invitations and messages. So ideally what we're doing is we, it's recommended that we send it through business hours. The business hours that will be sent through will be the same time zone as what's set on your account in your workspace settings. So once we select when to send the invitation messages, we can select save and to turn on the flow, just look up on the right hand side and click switch on your flow to get started. So once you turn that on, what's gonna happen is the Phantom will start running through all of the profiles in your list. It will periodically send them uh, invitations, the number of which will be set from your settings. So say up to 20 a day. Um, once the connection request happens um, and somebody connects uh, or accepts your connection request, from then on, the uh, follow-up message will start to be sent out. 
And that's how we can use Sales Navigator and Phantom Buster to find and generate leads from startups that have been recently funded.